This bucket is grim. I turned fish waste into a sustainable alternative to plastic. This started off as my university project. I applied to the James Dyson Award and won £32,000 of funding, which meant that it's now become my full-time job. Do you want the skin in as well? Mmm, fish <laughs> Do you want some gloves? Nah, that's right. The project started working with waste. Obviously not the most traditional building product for a designer. People thought I was crazy because I was a designer doing something with fish. Good to see you, long time no yeah, see. Yeah, it's been a while. This is probably one day's wastage. I think even I was like pretty surprised that I chose fish waste. That's a trout bone, waste bones. That's Cornish. The guts aren't very cool. Yeah, the guts are gross, um, but like the skins are pretty cool. When you first hold it, that's as hard as I can pull. How like strong it is, and just like how like, absolutely flexible it is. Yeah. Like these are two of the main properties of plastic. So I then had fish waste as my main ingredient. I did pretty much all of my experiments in my kitchen, so I would use my mum's Nutribullet. Sorry, mum. She was unsure about. Uh, whether she'd ever get a non-fishy blender. There was definitely a, have you washed that? Have you double washed that? Have you triple washed it? Have you put it on a hot wash? This is a red algae, it's nice and gooey. I'm the first to combine fish waste with algae. It's just wicked, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you just smell it? Yeah, <laughs> it smells like the sea, <laughs> surprise, surprise. It smells like wet dog now, <laughs> charming. The fish scales hold the strength and then the agar is kind of the glue that sticks it all together. Proteins from the fish, the binder, which is from the agar. So I'm just going to pop that on the hob. I was waiting for the bubbles to die down. I've got to keep the formula secret at the moment. Now we're going to put it into the dehydrator, which will then take out the moisture. This is Marinatex in its finished form. It's kind of translucent and flexible. The texture of it is probably most like a plastic wallet that you put in a folder, but it can biodegrade. My passion for the environment definitely came from my love for the ocean, and that was kind of cemented through diving. I love solving problems. <laughs> Obviously, I've chosen quite a difficult one with the plastic crisis. The demand for alternatives that don't harm the planet has skyrocketed. I set up Marina Tex on the 14th of February 2020, Valentine's Day. Um, that's the length I go to for company on Valentine's Day. <laughs> this is a piece of Marina Tex film in sandwich pack. And this is where I'd love to see the material being used in the future. The product that is, I would say, sassier than your average product, because it's essentially chemistry. It's novel, it's new, it hasn't been done before. So what's the long-term plan? Long term plan is to try and get Marina Sex to the market. <laughs> <laughs>